was so hurt by one person. I was really angry. And then I prayed in front of God. And then I decided to forgive that person. And after long spending time in the presence of God and praying, I was able to forgive. And then I thought I need to ask forgiveness directly to that person. Then suddenly a second thought came to me. If I ask forgiveness and say I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for keeping anger, hatred against you, then he, that person will take it for granted and take me for granted and he may continue the same mistakes again. Therefore I thought he did mistake, he did this, so let him come and ask forgiveness for first. And then I will tell him, don't worry man, I have already forgiven you. So I was waiting. I thought I, I will wait for that person to come first because otherwise if I take initiative and go and ask forgiveness and then he will take me for granted and he will think I am wrong. In fact, he is wrong. So I decided let him come first. And I was praying. When I was praying, I saw this vision. Jesus on Mount Calvary crying, shedding blood and bleeding and looking at me and said, nobody came and asked me forgiveness. Jesus said, nobody came to me and asked forgiveness. Then I remembered, nobody, all those who hurt Jesus, crucified him, beaten him, spat on his face. Nobody came and asked forgiveness from him because they did mistake. Jesus never did anything wrong, but they all did mistake. But nobody came and asked forgiveness, but Jesus forgave them. Jesus took initiative. Then I knew, don't wait for anyone. No one will come. If you need blessing, you take initiative. If they need blessing, they will take initiative. If they don't take initiative, that means they don't want blessing, but you want blessing. So you take initiative. You go to them. Even if they are wrong, take their sin on you and say, I'm sorry. Take the responsibility of that sin of them and say, I'm sorry. Do you think Jesus, Jesus blamed them and said they are wrong? Jesus said, Father, they do not know what they are doing. Forgive them. Jesus took their sins, their responsibility of their sin in, in himself. And he forgave. Don't wait for your enemy to come. You go to them because you need blessing. We read like this. Romans chapter 12 verse 20 onwards. Romans chapter 12 verse 20. 19 onwards. We read like this. Beloved, never avenge yourselves but leave room for the wrath of God for it is written vengeance is mine I will repay says the Lord vengeance is mine I will repay says the Lord verse 20 no if your enemies are hungry feed them if they are thirsty Give them something to drink, not poison. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. He, you will heap, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. 